In this video we will use the 505 core kit to create a simple beat and then use the multitude of space sounds to create a core progression to go with it in Ableton Live 11 Lite. So when you first load Ableton Live 11 Lite, here is the default interface in the session view. First thing we need to do is remove these audio tracks that we don't need. So if we come up and right click, select delete, same again. The first thing we're going to do is to create a simple drum beat. If you've not done this before, it's very straightforward, but we will link videos in the description below if you need some further help. So we come up to drums and you can see here we've got the different drum kits. Today we're going to use the 505 core kit. So if we left click on it here, we can listen to it. You can mute this preview with this headphone icon. Left click on that, click on it again. In order to load this clip onto the track, we left click, drag up to this top clip and let go. And you can see below we've got the 505 core kit. So you can preview the individual sounds you see they're written here. If you click on these small play icons, We're going to keep the settings at default today, but there are presets here and you can tweak the settings to create the sound you would like. Okay, so what we need to do is create a MIDI clip. So if you double click on the top clip here, this is the MIDI editor. You can see here the names of the different parts of the kit, drum kit. If we click on this headphone icon, and click we can preview them. In order to view them all, mouse over here and click and drag up slightly. Got a slightly better view. So we're going to create a four bar clip that loops round and round. If we come up here to the length section, left click and drag up to four bars. And you can see the divisions of each bar here. They're currently a sixteenth. If you right click, you can change it under fixed grid using some of these options, but we'll keep it on a 16th for today. And then to enter notes or to enter hits in this case, you just double click. So for example, snare drum, that creates a snare drum of one 16th note because that was our default. If you mouse over the edge, you can, you see this handle appears, you can left click and change the duration of the note, or you can left click and hold and move the note around. Double click again to delete the note. Okay, so we're going to create a very simple beat here. So we'll start with the bass drum. Start with one per bar. And then we've got those snare drums there. If you want to duplicate something, if you left click and highlight the notes you're looking at, Right click and select duplicate. And then you can drag that selection wherever you like. We want to preview this. If we come up to the top, you can see this top clip is colored in yellow now and we click on play. And you can edit as it plays or stop. It's up to you. Okay, so that's a very basic beat. Let's add some variation.
Okay, we'll, we'll add some hi-hats. Right click and duplicate again. Change this one for an open hat. Okay, just playing around here with the hi-hats. Just add a couple of claps to finish off, I think. Okay, we'll leave it there for the beat. Very basic, but it does the job. You can hear the 505 core kit. And of course, you can edit the beat to whatever style you're trying or whatever genre of music you prefer. Let's click stop now. If this guide has helped you in any way, then we would love you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And keep watching to see us create a turnaround using the multitude of space sound. Okay, so what we want to do now is create our chord turnaround. And we're going to use the sound called multitude of space, which is ambient and evolving. So if we come up to the collections on the top left, click on sounds, click on this small arrow by ambient and evolving. And we'll scroll down 
multitude of space. If we left click, we can hear what it sounds like. Okay, and same as before, left click, drag this up to track two. Here's the multitude of space sound, leaving the default sounds. Before we begin, we'll pan this track slightly to the left. See here it says track pan, left click, drag down. That'll do. And then double click to create our MIDI editor. So we're going to use a 1565 turnaround in the key of C. If this is confusing for you, then we will link a video in the description below, which will help you. It's fairly straightforward. First thing we need to do is change the loop length again to four bars. Same as before, left click, drag up. We're going to be in the key of C. So if we click on scale, C major is highlighted. And you can see the notes in C major here. We can preview the sound by left clicking. first bar is going to be the one chord, which in the key of C is C major. That has the notes C, E and G. I think we'll start up at C3 as our chord progression will gradually come down. With these ambient sounds, you can't really play chords because it tends to only play one note at a time. So what we'll do is we'll split our chord up into individual notes and play what's called an arpeggio, which is each note of the chord in order. Playing C, so we'll start with C. Then we go to E. And then we go to G. Again, we can preview this by clicking play and hearing how it sounds. I'll stop the drums for now. I think I'll just extend that last note. So for bar two, we're going to the five chord, but we're going to the first inversion. So the five chord is G major with the notes G, B and D. And the first inversion means that B has to be the lowest note. So we'll come down to B here. Play D. Go back up to G. For the third bar, we're going to the sixth chord, which is A minor, and that has the notes A, C, and E. So again, you can see a gradual decline in our lowest notes, so we'll come to A next. A, C and E. I'm going to extend the C note as that's the minor third, which is the key component to a minor chord. And then for the final bar, we're going to the five chord, which is G, but this time just normal G, so G, B and D with G being the lowest note. Okay, so that's our chord progression. And press stop there. We'll now listen to the whole thing, including the drums.
Master Ableton now.